Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome to your weekly dose of newsy infotainment. It's Let's Be Treasonable, coming to you from the luxurious studios of Radio Titans in Los Angeles with your cognitive dissidents on the panel this week. Joining us, as always, the black voice of reason, Mr. Time and Ship. Uh, power to the people. Uh, yes, the revolution shall not be televised. <laughs> it, it's going to be podcast instead. Uh, and once again, joining us, always happy to have her on the panel, comedian Michelle March. Hello, everyone. I love you. The feminist, socialist, communist dyke. Here I am. <laughs> nice to be here with all these straight men. <laughs> uh, we we try. Speaking of straight men, uh, all, always a pleasure to have me in the studio. You know him from this show. You know him from the Jimmy Dore show. You know him from uh, Stephanie uh, Miller. I, I was guaranteeing myself I'm going to mess this up again. Uh, but he is here. He is the one and only Ron Placone. Nailed it, buddy. I How are we doing, everybody? Ron Placone here. Definitely a straight guy. Totally a straight guy. That is true. That is true. <laughs> Well, it is America in Crisis, day 142. Uh, before we, we get to the usual shenanigans uh, that are happening in D.C., this was a particularly special week and saw a lot of talk show hosts uh, opening their shows talking about the shooting in Alexandria. Uh, so because we are a talk show, uh, I do want to address that just right off the bat, uh, but not necessarily in the manner that the other hosts chose to uh in in a feeling of bipartisanship and and bygones uh i was i was particularly irritated uh the the day of the shooting when speaker of the house paul ryan said an attack on one of us is an attack on all of us uh no i i think that is incorrect uh and you know we we were just talking about how shootings get politicized finger quotes heavily uh, intended there but no when one of us speaking as a congressman is under attack it is not an attack on all of them it is an attack on republicans it is attack an attack on the ones who have been getting their rocks off and spoon feeding the nra for all these years uh this, you you look at Steve Scalise, and granted, this guy was shooting at everybody. You know, he shot a lobbyist for Tyson, and I'm not necessarily saying that, you know, Big Chicken is <laughs> to blame for this. But but you look at Steve Scalise, a guy with an A plus rating from the NRA, a guy who voted in favor of of loosening restrictions on transporting guns between states, uh, voted against keeping the mentally ill from from obtaining guns. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but I, I am not going to feel that bad. You know, yeah, sure. It sucks when anyone gets shot. Uh, but I am not going to feel bad for someone who created the circumstances that allowed him to get shot. So basically his own policy shot him. Uh, sort of. Well, you know, in, in, in the old vernacular, I, I believe he was truly hoist by his own petard. You know, and I know we're not supposed to call people petarded anymore, but... <laughs> You know, it's an attack on all of us in, in, in the, uh, you know, in the, in the metaphorical sense. An attack on all of us is when a school shooting happens. That's an attack on all of us because cause they're attacking our children. And the, even the, if you don't have children, all of us were at one point right, children. It, exactly. Some of us still are. Yes. <laughs> I'm speaking for myself. Or, or when a nightclub gets shot up right. uh, by somebody who is dealing with their, uh, you know, repressed feelings or homophobia or whatever it is. That's an attack on all of us. Not, I mean, and yeah, any gun attack is terrible. I'm not trying, and you know, I, I hope that Steve Scalise gets out of it and is okay. I know he's not doing so well uh, as of the recording of this, and, and I, I, I wish him a recovery. But, you know, it, it's just so insane where it's like we can't have a constructive conversation about gun control. Why can't we? Because the NRA has Congress by the balls. They, they are the that, strongest no, wait, lobbying that's not organization. Fair. You're, you're just presuming they, there that Congress has balls. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. It's been proven By the Ken Doll anatomy, there whatever it may be. Point by David, the Ken Doll point anatomy. Ron. <laughs> I mean, it, can you imagine? I mean, I always think if the NRA's cause was universal health care, we'd have single payer tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, it, they have so much power. And and what do they use their power for? To play with their toys that they kill people. Money. It's so it's sad. Our number one G, you it's know, so it's our sad. Number one product is is uh, war and yeah, <laughs> war and uh, weapons of war and weapons of war against each other. Except they live in big houses and they have you know really great you know security usually. 
It's a miracle. Well, song. Yeah. yeah, and you know, and that was that was another thing we that that schools, really bothered David. me. And you yeah. know, Nancy Pelosi did this as well. But that the the shooting in Alexandria caused Congress to say, well, we need to we need to up you know congressional protection. We and and I I do firmly believe that there are people you know who are in situation. I got in an argument with a with a friend of mine uh, on Facebook couple of years ago about uh, the increased security at the Sidwell School in D.C. as opposed to the security at, you know, uh, I think he lives in North Carolina now, but he grew up in New Orleans and was saying, oh, well, you know, we didn't have we didn't have armed guards at, at our school. And it's like, well, yeah, that's because no one is going to try and influence international policy by kidnapping some kid from a school right. in the ghetto of New Orleans, you know, as as he put it, uh, you know, the ghetto. Uh so I do understand that where there is a greater threat, greater security is needed. But what really upset me was that as soon as one of their own was shot, and I, you know, this didn't really happen uh, with when Gabby Giffords was shot, presumably because it was a one-off. You know, oh well, it wasn't a group of Congress people; it was just one. Uh, but that the the call immediately goes out: we need better protections for for Congress people when. If there's a shooting at a school, if there's a shooting at a mall, people aren't tied in a theater. People aren't tied. Well, you know, we like really need to do something immediately about better security in theaters and better. So, you know, it's well, this not, happened to us. So how do we yeah. protect us? Right. No, you know, this if you want to view this as an attack on all of us, all of us shouldn't just be Congress. All of us should be the American people. And Amen. in that respect, yes, it was an attack on all of us. But you got to look at the circumstances that created this shooting. And we can look at that. It's all you, they're all using the same weapon, whether it's like, you know, an automatic, you know, rifle, semi, of, yeah, whatever, semi-automatic, semi-automatic rifle, or yeah. if it's a gun, it's still those kind of things, you know, whether it's at a school or except that some people get to go to a hospital and have like, you know, medical coverage when they get shot, do you know what I'm saying? Or they don't have to. Yeah. So. Well, and that's that's and the that's other them. issue about this is, you know, that the 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 people who have been voting to take health care away from 23 to 27 million Americans, depending on which version of the bill you want to talk about. They love uh, they they <laughs> they develop pre-existing conditions on on Tuesday. And while it's sad, I I hope that they can. You know, when uh, I don't know how much you guys you know, know about you know, the traditions of Judaism, but uh, I'm sure you all know that we, we fast for Yom Kippur, the observant, the religious do. And the the proper greeting uh, is to, to tell someone, I, you know, may your fast be meaningful. So it's it's not just about going hungry for a day. Think about why you're not eating, you know, that it's. Penance, you know, the, the idea of, of thinking about what you have done to wrong other people in the world and what you can do to fix that. So, Ron, while I agree with you that, yeah, you know, I, I hope Steve Scalise recovers. I hope he has a meaningful recovery. Oh, certainly. I, I yeah. hope, you yeah. know, I, it's, I hope absolutely. that this is, in, in the vernacular, a teachable moment. Sure. You know, that I and I'm certainly not expect him, expecting him to pull a, a complete 180 on all of his insane policies. But maybe now he'll think a little bit more about, oh, well, letting letting the mentally ill have access to guns. Uh, is that an infringement on the Second Amendment? Mm, maybe. Is that going to probably keep congressmen from getting shot in a, on a baseball diamond? More likely. Maybe we should vote that way. Yeah, and, you know, it's interesting that whenever a, a school shooting happens or a nightclub shooting happens and, and people are like, hey, we got to talk about gun control, the right's always like, stop politicizing this situation. Then when this happened, first thing everybody would say, hey, that guy was a Bernie supporter, uh, which, you know, and, and, and I get it. I mean, we all know that the left, we love our guns. I mean, I mean, the left is known <laughs> for love. That's why we want universal health care. We want universal health care so we can shoot each other and, and get, get fixed quicker. Uh, that's why. I mean, we love our guns. The left, yeah. we're known for being gun nuts. And so it was I a get brother it. and it's a, a good sister connection. that saved his ass, wasn't it? Well, that's right. Uh, not not that's just a sister, right. but a gay sister. That's right. Uh, who, hey. Speak on that. Speak whose on that. rights Speak for on that. marriage uh, equality have also been voted against by Representative Scalise. Yeah. 
So, you know, hey, wow. See, we uh, try to save everybody, les- right? Black they, lesbian they tried to save to a, a them, you know? cracker from Louisiana. Yeah. Go figure. So, yeah. hey, maybe, yeah, maybe the empathy will spread. Uh, well, I think I, when I, people I start, start loving people more than guns, uh, then it'll happen. Or, But, you know, since they even turned uh, corporations into people, like, I just think they like things better than people well, and well, money better than people. Well, you got this whole nationalism thing going on also. You got folks that still want to separate themselves. You know, we, we, you know, if we keep saying that this country was built by immigrants, but there are people out there who believe that, you know, no, it's, it's white nationalism. It's like, no, fucker, you're a immigrant like everybody else. You're mixed with something. You're not, there are no pure anything, you know. And so when we, like you're saying, if you're going to be for everybody, then, you know, they say, well, you know, we, we shouldn't be uh, bombing in Syria. Yeah, well, the Syrian people wouldn't be refugees if you didn't blow up their country. They yeah, no over, kidding. Yeah, they'd be over there enjoying life like they wanted to be. They wouldn't be, oh, I'm a refugee now? Well, I mean, if, you're, if you guys didn't come over here and, and drop bombs on IS, I'd probably still be at my own business like I had yeah. enjoying yeah. my life. I didn't want to come to America. That's why a lot of people are saying, right. like, yes, the, the ban is terrible, and the idea of turning our backs on refugees is terrible. But let's not forget uh, what made them refugees in the first place and right. address that, too, because people seem to love to forget that part. And the truth is no one wants to leave their country. Uh, people no. want to stay in there because they love their country. Right. I mean, that's, I can what, that's yeah. what it is. It's only something horrible drives you from your country. Right. And then, you know, which you, like you, Trump you... might drive me out of this place <laughs> and, and the GOP because I just don't like them. <laughs> well, no. one, one of my best They're friends, nice. my old writing partner, uh, and this is even before Trump, but uh, he and his wife saw the way things were going. They were they were living in Denver. <laughs> they were like, um, yeah, fuck this. Let's move to New Zealand. They yeah, bounced. a lot of people that took up. Yeah. You know, I had I had a had a girlfriend that used to live here. Uh, she's from Japan. She lived here for a while. And uh, later on, she's like, yep, yeah, that's it. I'm moving to Canada. Met a girl, moved to Canada. <laughs> the, yeah, the girl was from Canada. And, 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 and that's it. Like, and she was like a fighter here because you have to fight here all the time. You move somewhere else like that, then you're like, oh, my God, we're all happy now. We have, like, we have medical care, you know, whatever. I mean, I know not everything is perfect everywhere. But, you know, I think we could, thi- I think we could fix some of this stuff. I don't know. Somehow we have to come together. I don't know. What when you, you, when you talk to and, and, <laughs> I mean, it, and, and like you said, um, the guy, apparently, what, however it was brought to this dude, he was in so much pain that he decided, he told his wife, I'm going to Virginia. I'm going to check out a job or such and such. And people saw him around. They thought it was just some weird dude just hanging out. Mm-hmm. And his wife had no idea. Oh, I'm planning to shoot these motherfuckers. What I'm planning on doing, and he did. I mean, how, how badly did he believe that what these guys uh, believed in that yeah. he wanted them out? He even asked, "Are these Republicans?" Well, yes, they are. Thank you very much. And you know, and obviously that's a horrible thing. I'm not into people shooting anyone. I, I even forgave all those people that died, like Phyllis Shafley and all those people that said shit. Fred <laughs> Phelps that said all this stuff about gay people. I didn't feel happy when they died. I don't feel happy with this guy getting shot. I just want some of this thing, like wake up and like for we have enough people in the in the, in the world or in in the United States to go. Come on, let's get a little bit real about this gun issue. You know, like let's it, somehow. I think there's a way. I just, I just, it's true about oh, holding the balls. They do have, yeah. The I mean, balls, the NRA. You know? I, mean, I mean, unless yeah, the NRA huge. is extinguished, we're not going to have any type of common sense. So why can't policy. we call Absolutely. the NRA a terrorist thing. group? Why can't we call I, them a I terrorist group? I do. I think there are there why are can't a number we put of people them who on do, the list then and say be, bye bye to them because right. they've been forking money into the system for so long. You know, even when it's this obvious, when it's, you know, in your face or right. in the case of Scalise in your hip right. or in the case of uh, the, the lobbyist Micah in, in your chest. So how do we get it, unless do we it's get right out there? Of, how, you are not going to. How do we get money out of politics? How well, do we that, do that's going to be hard because that's gonna uh, be it used to be um, there, uh, there was over a thousand lobbyists and most of your congressmen, once they get out of Congress, they become lobbyists. And when somebody hit that lobbyist, it was kind of nice for one second. I'm just kidding. I'm just saying because I'm I'm like lobbyist. That message brought to you.